You missed Ines here, live from the Sydney Gold Coast, uh, sorry, Sydney Big Day Out 2005. I'm excited, all right? I'll admit it, because I've been out in the crowd at the Gold Coast, talked to every single punter I could possibly lay my hands on, and they all said they were there for one band, and that band is sitting right next to me right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce Chris and Clown from Slipknot. How's it going, fellas? Hello. Now, um, I know that you guys play music first and foremost, and you're probably sick of talking about the, the masks, but it's good to see your new streamlined look. The fans are loving it. Um, are, are you very talkative? Yeah, you haven't asked me a question yet. <laughs> okay. How, how's it been so far? It's been great. We've been on tour about going on 10 months. Yep. Played over 20 countries, over 150 shows. All on one bus. Haven't broken up yet. Don't think we will. We're having a blast. Sweet as. Isn't it uh, Australian Day or something? It is Australian Day. Do Pretty you know? weird. Is it? It's good though. It's like uh, it's not depressing here at all. No, no, we It's almost it impossible here. to be depressed here. It is. This place is awesome. Well, uh, speaking of being depressed, I mean, let's get to your music. Your album, The Subliminal Verses, has got uh, tunes. Well, we. You know, I think anybody who's in a band wants to write good songs. Yep. And uh, as artists, we're constantly recreating ourselves and di digging deeper within to try and find, uh, you know, those songs. We always do the best we can, and we put them out on albums that come out every other year or something like that. And uh, this album really worked out. We're really proud of it. So uh, it's getting closer. You know what I mean? It's getting closer to what it's really, 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 really all about. And I, I couldn't tell you what that is at all. Uh, you know, actually. What, what's your favorite song to perform at the moment? Well, for me, there's always one song per record cycle. The first album cycle was the song "Sick," obviously. Surfacing was right after that. The next album cycle was "Disaster Piece." And uh, this album cycle right now, it's just the blister exists. When it hits, it, I love connecting with the rest of the guys in the band. and We all feel that thing that has kept us together for so long. And it's undeniable. You just have to go for it. Sweet. Do you feel the same, Chris? Yeah, exactly the same, you know. And it's really cool to play duality right now, too, because the kids sing it so loud. And it's such a big song right now, you know, that the energy is just, it's unbelievable. Now, uh, I was reading some interviews with Corey, your singer, and uh, he talks about how he likes people to get their aggression out in the mosh. Is it still the biggest mosh, the Slipknot mosh? Well, I'll be totally honest. I don't have much time to even pay attention. <laughs> kind of, The show kind of goes by like a blur, you know. We're yeah. so into it. I, I do know that uh, we played, uh, where did we play uh, a couple nights ago? The Horden? Where did we Brisbane. Oh, yeah, we Brisbane. played Brisbane, and uh, the kids broke the barrier, uh, the little barricade thing, and so, I don't know, they're just, it's kind of like a cult or something, they're just, they go for it, which is what we love, that's why we still do it, because we like to get lost in that 60 minute period, yep. everything else can, you know, die. Sure. Um, it's, it's, been, it's been a long time on the road for you fellas, is there anyone who's come close to quitting? <laughs> Every time I'm about ready to put this mask on. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. They, they told no, me man. I had an interview at four, and I was like, I am out of here. <laughs> <laughs> no, this no, is what we love, man. This is what we do. This is our passion. This is our art. You know, we don't know any different. And, you know, it's, it's the kids that really keep it all together. You know, it's just like every time we show up, it's just full on all the time, and we couldn't ask for anything more. Plus, but we also love the fact that the days that are hard, the days that we would like to quit, we do get by them because you're not getting out of this band. You're not getting out of this way of life. There's only nine of us, so it goes until it can't go, and that's death or some weird stuff. But when we get by the days that we can't do, we get some real serious knowledge inside, and it just makes this place, this reality, that much more exciting. So, so that's a great thing. Do any of you guys have religion? Well, we guys kind of actually try to stay away from that because uh, there are nine guys and uh, all nine of us aren't on the same platform. We just try not to talk too political or too religious because faith is important mm -hmm. and uh, you know we just talk about what we talk about. It makes it easier. That's what we're good at. So we just keep that stuff aside and personal. Sweet.
Well, Chris and Clown from Slipknot, thanks heaps for joining us today on Channel B. I'm loving the new single, Vermillion. It totally rocks. And uh, I hope you guys have an awesome show today. We're coming for you. We're going to go see you. Have a look at duality. You know we're coming for you. <laughs> All of you. Keep watching exclusive to Channel B. This is the Sydney Big Day Out 2005.